Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can add or implement Bootstrap in our website. And also, we'll see some of the glimpses of how we use Bootstrap in our website. So, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe now and also hit the bell icon. And this video is a part of my Bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist. So, definitely check this out. I will provide the link in the description. And also, click on the subscribe button. So, without wasting any time, let's start. So I am the official website of the bootstrap which is getbootstrap.com and you can see the current version of the bootstrap which is 5.1.3 here. So implementing or adding bootstrap in our website we have some methods. So let's go in the docs and download section. So you can see you can download the bootstrap all of the files by this download button or you can use the CDN method to add bootstrap in our website and also you can add or install bootstrap with the help of npm or yarn. Okay so there are different method to adding bootstrap in our website. But the best method or the easiest method is using the CDN method. Okay, so you just need to add these two links in our website and your bootstrap will be automatically added. So it is actually the easiest way and I am also using this CDN method. So let's go in the VS code and create one file quickly. So I am just creating index.html and by the way I am using the emit extension by which the all of this code written automatically and also using the prettier extension for formatting and live server extension for automatically go live whenever we change everything okay so this three extension I am using so for adding bootstrap in our website we just need this link so let's copy this link and go in our code and before our title tag just paste this link and you can see the second link is actually a script tag so for that script tag always claim in the below in our body tag so i'm just moving the script tag here also delete the extra spaces change the title a little bit like bootstrap tutorial and that's it our bootstrap is added in our website it is so much simple so for showing that how bootstrap is working let's write one hello world text so in the h1 tag i'm just writing hello world okay just saving this uh, my prettier extension is formatting everything okay so that is my code of the h1 let's see output now you can see there's a hello world text but just remember this font style okay just remember this font style just of now and if i comment out these two links or delete these two links so i'm just deleting this so our website is going in the by default format so let's see the output now you can see our total font style is changed according to our local system font size our font size is changed and it is it is the by default or the default font style which our browser is pro providing us okay so just see just adding these two links our website is already working in the bootstrap and with the help of the bootstrap our font style is changed and by default bootstrap is providing us this font style so you can see so if you are worried about and confused about whether the links are working or not just see your text so if your text are looking like this then your CDN links are working fine and by the way you need our uh, internet connection for going in the CDN method okay so we already seen how we can add the bootstrap in our website so what the bootstrap is going to do in our website so the bootstrap is providing us some predefined classes which is already written in the bootstrap so by using these classes of the bootstrap that is providing us we just use those classes for implementing our website and you can see by implementing those classes in our website our whole website looking will be completely changed so let's go in the component section and here's all lots of the components as you can use but i am choosing the button so you can see here's lots of button are there and these are the code for that so i'm just copying this and also going to paste it here and also save so see the all of the button that is provided us in the bootstrap is already here so this is how you can copy one button style just by copying and paste and if you see the button class button tag the all of the button tag is same by which is the default button tag we have but the main thing is the class section the bootstrap provided us some classes for styling the button and one of them is the btn by the way, btn is stand for button so one of these two classes is button and you can see this is common for lord so i am just replicating and deleting the class and treating as the default class yes, or the default button so if i save this and go for the output you can see this is our default button which the our normal html tag is providing us and this is the bootstrap buttons and if you wanted to customize or 
put some CSS in the buttons to looking the button like this, you need to write some classes or you need to write some CSS lines. But with the help of the bootstrap, you just don't need to write any classes. All of the classes already written in the bootstrap. You just need to use them. So how we can use them? So we have seen we have one common class which is BTN. So let's add the BTN class here. So I'm just adding the BTN class. So let's write the BTN and save this and just see which our website is had previously so let's also replicate and delete this code so default bootstrap okay so if i save this code you can see the default button is our default html tag and this is the tag which is using the btn class okay let's see how the difference is so you can see this is our old default button and this is how our button is looking like and by the way the background colors is actually white so it is not visible properly and for providing the colors in the button so we just seen the blue color gray color uh, green color red yellow blue and black and white so providing these colors we have some color schema of the bootstrap which is if someone write the btn primary the button will looks like blue or if someone put the button secondary and it will be show like just like gray so you can see if you write button and hyphen and provide any color name just like primary stands for the blue secondary stands for gray and success stands for green just like danger is red warning is yellow so this is how our color schema is working in the bootstrap so just suppose let's write one class name just like write button primary and just see what will happen and save this you can see our whole button is looking like just similar to this button which is blue and if i just change the primary to success and save this just see how our button is looking like so you can see our blue button is changed to green so this is how you use the bootstrap in the real life cases so in the real life you just don't need to remember all of these classes in the real life you just came here in the documentation section and if you wanted to style any button just go for the styling of the button or the component section button and take whatever code or whatever tag you want it to be okay so in here you just see we have two classes or we actually we have many classes so the second class is actually for the coloring purpose so also bootstrap don't have the solid colors button bootstrap has also this type of button which is outline buttons so you can see this button is looking like good or cooler or modern button so for adding this type of button in our website let's see for adding this type of website the button in our website the button class is same for each of the button the our solid button have also the btn class and also our outline button also has this btn class but the actual change is the second class which is the btn and outline primary and for the outline or the btn hyphen outline primary our whole styling is changed like this so let's see this thing also so if i change it to bt and outline and success and just save this by the way our prettier extension is working let's see you can see our whole button styling is changed just by changing one css class or one bootstrap class if i write bootstrap primary also just see our button is styling is completely changed so this is how you use the bootstrap in our real life case and also just see one thing that is the navbar okay so this is the by default navbar we get from the bootstrap for just copy this code and go for our code so the navbar actually comes at the top so i'm adding the navbar in the top and also save this code just see our website have one navbar all over by its own if we just change any links or anything just go here you can see we have navbar i'm just writing as bootstrap and save this thing and you can see the navbar is changes to bootstrap you can also customize this navbar with the help of some css classes also so you can see there's lots of other navbar styling also so i am interesting in the color schemes of the bootstrap navbar you can see for black type of navbar we have these three classes and we have seen for the button we have some color or we have some class name as btn so similarly for the navbar we have one class name as navbar but the main thing is that 
these two classes and these two classes is actually responsible for changing the style you can see the navbar dark is providing the dark type of color so you can see the black and blue are actually the dark colors or the dark navbars and you can see the sky color navbar is actually the light navbar so the light navbar and the dark navbar is doing this type of things and bg dark is providing the dark type of background color bg stands for background and hyphen dark which stands for the black and bg primary stands for the blue which we see that what is the primary represented for and you can also set whatever color you wanted to do by the styling and i am just taking this to class and also adding this in our website so you can see we have some also some classes just leave these two classes alone and changing this thing okay so previously we have navbar light and bg light i am changing it to navbar dark and bg dark and just see our whole navbar styling is changed with your dark color so it is very much easy to use the bootstrap so if you wanted anything to customize it well just use this type of things in the bootstrap just go and if you want this type of navbar then just copy this thing so if you don't need any type of links in your navbar then you can copy this thing so there's lots of types of navbar is there okay so this is how you use the bootstrap in the real life website you just came here and copy whatever thing you need and change in whatever things you wanted to change so let's see another component which is accordion so this is what our accordion is looking like this so with the help of this buttons or this thing you can toggle any text body or anything that you wanted to show or hide with the help of one click so this is called the accordion and if you wanted to build the similar type of thing in our normal html css you just need to write so many lines of css code trust me but if you wanted this thing in our bootstrap you actually don't need to write anything you just need to copy this thing go for the code and just scroll down so let's see where i can put this thing so let's put it at the end and just paste this thing okay just save this and you can see now you can see the whole accordion is added in our website and you just need to change some of the things that this class has okay so you can see the outer div we have one class as accordion and in here we have three divs which is contains the accordion item class okay so accordion item is means that each of this item is called accordion item so in here we have three items so we have three accordion item divs so this is all the accordion item divs so you can see we have three actually and uh, in each of the accordion item we have one header section which contains one button okay and this is the button actually if you click on this thing the part or the hidden part is visible okay and we have something called as collapse collapse one div and you can see we have accordion collapse and collapse and show we will see all of the classes in details in the upcoming videos but uh, just of now let's see this collapse class is actually collapsing this thing and as it is the accordion collapse so it is class name is changed to accordion collapse so this is how you should remember all of the classes you just don't need to remember all of the classes you just came here in the documentation and copy pasting in each of the things so just don't know just change the thing that it is our accordion class and we have the accordion item first accordion item let's change it to accordion first okay and it is actually text which is hidden so i am just deleting it and just write lorem 20 so with the help of the emit extension some random text will be generated just like this so if i save this this go in our output you can see our accordion is all just looking like which we data we have provided with the button name as accordion first and this is the hidden text okay also you can add any type of margin in between them so we have also classes for that so if you write m5 just see what will happen so just see we have 5% margin in each of the side of this accordion class okay this is cool actually we just don't need to write any type of css all of by all of the classes is actually taking care of all of these things so if you wanted to just margin at the top then just write margin top which is temporary empty so if you wanted to margin the button just you can write mb or if you want to margin left let's write ml or mr so just for now i am just writing empty for margin top just see now we have only the margin in the top so this is how the bootstrap work in the real life website 
we just changing this type of classes all of by our own and the whole website is looking like good and just of now just see this website it's looking way more cooler than our default website what we have seen so this is the power of the bootstrap and in the upcoming video we will see all of these components that we can use in the bootstrap so let's see and follow this playlist before ending this video i wanted to show you something interesting so if i inspect this page and see one thing if i just reducing the screen size let's see let's see our after reducing our screen size at a particular point this toggle button is came out okay so our whole navbar styling is changed if i reduce the screen size so it is if i also increase it so let's see at a particular point you can see at just a particular from between these two points the, our navbar styling is changed and this is actually cool for the mobile devices if we write all of these links one by one it can't be visible properly so it will not be responsive so bootstrap always take care of the responsiveness so bootstrap doing this type of things all of by your own we just don't need to write any type of lines of css all of these things is done by bootstrap automatically so how the bootstrap is knowing that our screen size is reducing or how the bootstrap is knowing that at a particular point the screen size is reducing so the particular point by which our whole styling is changed according to our need this particular point is called the break point and we will see more of the break points and in the bootstrap we are so many break points and these are way important in the bootstrap so in the next video we will see all of these things about the break point and we will know more things about the break points so if you don't want to miss that video of the bootstrap break point then please follow this playlist and subscribe to my channel See you in the next video with the bootstrap breakpoint. So till now, bye bye.